Hey guys, Mike here. Now, there have been a lot of microphones coming out recently that have been making waves, like the new Rode VideoMic NTG and the Movo WMX1. Now, there are a lot of professional microphones out there, but some of the most popular are the Sennheiser G series, specifically the Sennheiser G3 that came out in 2003, and more recently, the Sennheiser G4 that came out in 2018. But what I want to talk about today is another microphone system, and that's the Sennheiser AVX system. Now this is a really, really, really great wireless microphone system, but the reason I wanted to talk about it is because when it came out in 2015, it didn't really get a lot of press, not compared to the Sennheiser G4 series that came out, which got a lot of press and everybody knew about it. But with the AVX system, it didn't really get a lot of press, and not a lot of people even know about it to this day. I mean, the Sennheiser AVX kit came out in 2015, and the press launch was okay. It did get some hype, but it never really made its way into the hands of a lot of people. Now, this might be because professionals were still holding on to their G3 series, or maybe they just didn't know about the AVX system. At the time, my setup was pretty light, so I didn't want anything too bulky. And now I know that the G3 system is pretty small, but I didn't want that big of a receiver, and I still didn't want the cables going everywhere. And then when I went to the Sennheiser booth at the NAB show that year, I saw the AVX system and I pre-ordered it the next day, which I never do with new gear until I've reviewed it and researched it and looked into it more. The first thing that won me over was the design. Not only do you get a normal size transmitter with a really long 10 hour battery life, but the receivers are also tiny and don't require any additional cables. They just plug right into the XLR port. I mean, look how little space this takes up on the camera, having both receivers plugged in. The other thing that sold me was the ease of use. When I went to the Sennheiser booth, the guys showed me how to sync the transmitter with the receiver and it was really fast and really easy, and you don't need to know about RF or any audio engineering to do it. Basically, all you do is press the pair button on both units and wait for the green lights to go on, and you're done. And because they work on the 2.4 gigahertz band, they're future-proof. Now, I knew that the AVX system wasn't meant to be a replacement for the G3 system, since I know that the G3 system offers more flexibility to professional users with RF and audio backgrounds, but I was still wondering why more people weren't picking this up. One of the other great things about the AVX system is with the charging. If the transmitter or receiver is dead, you don't have to wait on it to keep working. All you have to do is plug it into a portable battery bank or an outlet, and you can keep working while it's charging. And there's no charging hum noise or frequency. As long as you have access to USB power, you can keep going. Now, the AVX system comes with two kits. One comes with the MKE-2 microphone, and the other one comes with the ME-2 microphone. So the MKE-2 microphone is a little bit higher end, and it gives you a little cleaner and better sound quality. But the MKE mic, I hear from other people who have used it, is still really good. But since this was a larger purchase, I wanted to go with the MKE-2 mic just so I could get the best sound quality possible. Each mic kit comes with the transmitter, receiver, the mic, and a mic clip. Now, because we don't do a lot of interview style videos where it's okay to see the mic, we had to come up with a different solution to hide it underneath clothing. We tried a lot of different things, but we mainly came up with two solutions that we use to this day. On one of our mics, we have a Rode Invisalav, which is a silicon mount for lav mics. And our other mic is attached to a solid plastic mic holder. And we attach either of these mics to our actors with Rycoat stickies. So if you go to our other channel and see some of the commercials we've produced, then you can actually hear the audio quality. And actually, I've been wearing one of the mics the whole time. We also do have other wireless mic systems like the Rode Wireless Go, but we usually only use that in a pinch and if we need a third channel, since the audio quality isn't as good as the Sennheiser mics, even though we usually use a lav mic with the Rode Wireless Go. So you're probably thinking if your camera doesn't have XLR inputs, then this whole thing doesn't matter, right? Well. Actually, the kit does come with an XLR to mic jack input adapter, as well as this nifty little cold shoe adapter to attach to your camera. This means you can still use it even if you have a DSLR or something that doesn't have XLR inputs. Once we started using these more, we even picked up another adapter that lets you plug the transmitter into an XLR mic, which let us have a wireless mic setup for things like our boom mics. One little downside of the AVX system 
is that it's a one-to-one -one system, which means that the transmitter can only connect to one receiver at a time. But it doesn't really matter because the receivers are so small. A couple other neat things that the AVX system does is that it has a built-in limiter. So if you're being too loud or there's a loud noise, your audio won't clip, which is really helpful in any situation, especially if you're recording on a DSLR. Hey, what's up guys? I'm wearing the Sennheiser AVX and I just want to show you that this thing can handle peaking very, very well. Especially if you stub your toe! Oh, no peaking. You can also set the audio level on the receiver itself in 10 decibel steps from 0 to 30. Now, as of this video, the AVX systems aren't necessarily cheap, where the MKE2 version goes for around $900 and the ME2 version goes for around $700 but we've used them on over a thousand commercials and they're still going strong to this day. So they definitely are an investment, but with that, you get great quality audio, you get an easy to use system, all in a really tiny package. But what some people have been doing lately just to test out microphones before they buy them is they've been renting them on sites like ShareGrid or KitSplit where people rent their own equipment so it's not as expensive as renting it from a rental house. So if you don't want to throw down that much money without trying it out first, that's a great way to test it before you invest. Like I said at the beginning, I just wish that more people would have known about these when they came out and they got more press because they've really improved our productions over the years and they've allowed us to create really good audio quality in our productions. Thanks for watching and if you have an ABX system or you've used one or you have any questions about it, feel free to let me know and I'll see you on the next one.